plants are absolutely roaring with fascinating animals, each with their own unique characteristics that make them truly one of a kind. And who better to introduce you to the wildlife than the one, the only, everyone, me, Dembe the Dung Beetle. Hey! Ooh. Oh, here we go. I know what you're thinking, dung beetle. Gross, right? But I have a, uh, let's say, up close and personal relationship with so many awesome creatures. From the top of the food chain to the, uh, <laughs> bottom. <laughs> so come on, let's roll. What? Dealing with dung is my duty. <laughs> Charming. But seriously, my dedication to dung helps nourish the soil so plant life can grow. And it keeps the savanna from becoming a super smelly place. Well, not any smellier, at least. <laughs> what fun! But enough about me. Let's do this dumb thing. Follow me! One of the most colorful characters in the savanna is Rafiki. Who are you? He's such a monkey. And to be clear, he's not a baboon, but a special type of priming called a mandrill. <laughs> and Rafiki is not the only impressive character I'm hanging with. Oh, wow, it's a puppet. Come on! Actually, Zazu is a hornbill. Some hornbills are known to be so loud, they're often mistaken for roaring lions. That's insane! <laughs> That's insane! Check out the racing stripes on these guys. Did you know that every zebra has their own particular pattern of stripes? No two are exactly alike. And the same goes for giraffes. Their spot configurations are as unique as human fingerprints. Whoa! Cleaning up after these guys is serious business. <laughs> Fun fact about hyenas. Even though they look similar to dogs, they're not related to the dog family. Seriously? In fact, they're closer to cats. What you mean? And while often portrayed as foolish scavengers, the spotted hyena is really an intelligent and resourceful creature. Did you hear that? That's perfect, because I am starving. Hmm. Some animals like their meals on the smaller sun. No hard feelings, though. It's in their nature. This is the great life. Meerkats like Timon are mainly insectivores, which means they eat bugs. You know, guys like me. Little cream-filled kind. I love this. Those are the best. Warthogs like Pumbaa are mostly plant-eating herbivores, but enjoy a side of grubs now and then, too. <laughs> Slimy? Get satisfied. They aren't lying about lions when they say a lion's roar can be heard up to five miles away. That was terrifying. And these cats can eat 10 to 25 pounds of food per day. I could eat a whole zebra. Uh-oh, no wonder a dung beetle's job is never done. Nice! Boom! Ah, the big event. No way I'd miss the presentation of Nala and Simba's precious little cub, Kiara. Such an honor to be there. Right there! I got a front row seat. Did you know that lions and many other wild animals are now in danger? Like, I don't have enough that I'm dealing with right now. That means that they could disappear forever if we don't do all we can to protect them. This is not a drill! Can you imagine a world without all these animals? We are all connected in the great circle of life. Yep, look at all of them. Gathered together without so much as a porta potty in sight. Well, I'd better get on the ball. Duty calls! <laughs>